They say you only roast the ones you love, but tonight we said F it. Don't worry, Alec, nothing said here tonight will be meaner than what you left on your daughter's voicemail. Of course, uh, Alec's true passion has always been the theater. Alec loves to hit the stage because it can't press charges. <laughs> Alec used to be a belligerent drunk before he became a belligerent sober person. <laughs> it's true, Alec had a substance abuse problem in the past, but he worked through it and hasn't done anything of substance in 20 years. <laughs> now. Alex, sit back, unclench your fists, and I promise this will be the funniest thing you've ever been a part of that Tina Fey didn't carry you through. Robert De Niro is here. <laughs> Looking like Alf. Uh, I can't even believe I, I get to share this stage with you tonight, Robert De Niro. And, and by this stage, I mean the final one of your life. It's... <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't feel right about any of this. <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner, I just want to thank you for all you've done for the trans movement and the size 16 stiletto industry. <laughs> you are such an incredible athlete. People forget just how fast you once ran from your first family to go be on a reality show. <laughs> Seriously though, I know being a new mom is hard. But even Casey Anthony knows the current location of her daughter. Caitlin, I know you've only publicly identified as a woman for a few years, but I just want you to know that I know that deep down you have always been a c And uh, <laughs> I spell it with a K though for you. I'm such a fan of the Baldwins. I've never been so sure that four people have buried a hooker together. <laughs> In all seriousness, I want to thank Alec. Um, in his memoir, he bravely admitted that he had once considered suicide. And I just want to say that I, that meant a lot to me because I have also considered your suicide. And I have some ideas. <laughs> I even know what I'm going to wear. Larry Bird is here. I mean, Nikki Glaser is here. <laughs> You know, the only difference between Larry Bird and Nikki Glaser is Larry could actually pass his 33. <laughs> dating. Uh, Caroline Ray from Sabrina is here. Give it up. Give it up. <laughs> but Caroline, if you're here, that means uh, Salem the Cat must have turned this down, huh? <laughs> Sorry, Mr. De Niro, we know how much you love that black pussy. Jenner is here. Yeah. Caitlin completed her gender reassignment in 2017, finally confirming that no one in that family wants a white dick. <laughs> Alec, where are your brothers tonight? God knows they're not working. Um, <laughs> let's face it, no one wants to be here. The person who went to the greatest lengths to not show up tonight was Bruce Jenner. <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner, proof that older women in Hollywood get fewer parts. <laughs> Dr. Ken Jong is here. Yes? Did you become a doctor so you could find your own penis because God knows no one else was looking for it? No. Oh. Speaking of shrimp, I saw your special on Netflix and um, 
did not know they filmed open mics. So. <laughs> Nikki Glaser, it has been driving me crazy all night. Which 1970s male Olympian did you used to be? <laughs> Nikki, you were an inspiration on Dancing with the Stars. I had no idea you were deaf. <laughs> <laughs> on your TV show, you asked your parents if they had ever done anal. And of course they said, after Nikki was born, we only did anal. <laughs> Blake, you look like nine different races all working together to make sure you never win a championship. <laughs> hey, Kayla. You goddamn hypocrite. You're like against gay marriage, you voted for Trump. You're like the Auntie Tom of the trans community. I mean, okay. I mean, you did open the door for trans people, but then you ran in and slammed that shit shut behind your flat ass. <laughs> Robin De Niro, baby. It's an honor to be up here with you, man. Robin, man, you've given us so many amazing performances, good fellas, awakenings, but tonight, man, it's gonna be the best one yet. It's gonna be the old Italian man trying to figure out trans pronouns in front of a live studio audience. <laughs> and John? Is it true your wife is named Tran Ho? Yes. Oh, I want to meet her. I mean, I'm waiting. I can't wait. I'll also want to say hello to Kendall's ex. You don't even have to say his name. It's just Kendall's ex. Anyway, Blake Griffin. Blake. <laughs> Los Angeles to Detroit. Let me tell you, I can tell you a thing or two about switching teams. <laughs> Yeah, you're a nice boy. It didn't work out between the two of you. You're always kind of welcome to come over to my home and know that you're the second best athlete in the house. <laughs> Look, there's a lot of hate in the world, but we can still laugh at ourselves. And honestly, that's why I'm here tonight. I've seen it all. I've even gotten threats. And I want other members of the trans community to know that if I'm strong enough to sit up here and be ridiculed all night, that you can handle anything. <laughs> Except listening to Adam Carolla's podcast. Oh my God! <laughs> Adam Carolla is so boring, I've never seen a drier pussy in my life. <laughs> and that's coming from me. It is so great to be here. I'm, on, uh, I'm a judge on The Masked Singer, so it's nice to be on another show where you have to guess who the celebrities are, so. Um, I look at Blake and I think, hmm, orange, is the new black. Yeah. <laughs> Alex's wife is so young, he introduces them as 23 and me. Now, <laughs> Alex's daughter, Ireland, is here. She might as well be named Zimbabwe, given the distance between them, am I right? <laughs> but we're really here to celebrate the real star of 30 Rock, and SNL, but let's be honest, Tina Fey said no. <laughs> Alec, no offense, but you weren't the star of 30 Rock. And, and with De Niro here, you're not even the star of your own <laughs> roast, you know? It's like, it's like, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? <laughs> and like with, with, and with Justin Bieber as your nephew, you're not even the star of your own <laughs> family. It's just like, <laughs> it's sad. I'm just like, sad, or whatever you do. <laughs> Hi, Dad. I'm Ireland. <laughs> it's good to be here. I almost didn't even know about it because I haven't checked my voicemails for my dad from the last, like, 12 years or something. I actually have a lot in common with the people on this roast because, like them, I don't really know you that well either. 
A lot of people only know my dad as an angry guy, but he's more than some lunatic who loses his temper. He also loses Emmys and Oscars <laughs> and custody of his firstborn child. Am I right? Shit. It hasn't been easy being the daughter of an iconic movie star, but I'm not here to talk about my mother. <laughs> or her Oscar. <laughs> a lot of people don't know this, uh, but when I was a kid, Caitlyn Jenner was my middle school track coach. You taught me to jump over the greatest hurdle of all, which is my father's approval. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what it's like having a gold medal athlete as your track coach? Blake, you get it, right? You've disappointed a Jenner that's completely out of your league. Did he really date your daughter? Yeah. He did? You should have married her, and now you're never gonna get a ring. What the f am I doing here? <laughs> Who the f are you? And Coulter, everybody. <laughs> Nikki is what's known as a dirty comedian. And I don't mean her material. I mean, she hasn't washed a pussy since Memorial Day. <laughs> and now, for the only true movie star on this stage, me. Critics say I have a unique quality as an actor. I actually like Alec Baldwin. <laughs> and I'm happy to be here for Alec, but honestly, I'm here to teach Chris Redd, Caitlyn Jenner, and Blake Griffin how to <laughs> black women. <laughs> Here's an historical fact. Alex's ancestors came over on the Mayflower. Alex's great, 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 great grandfather was the first white man to punch a Native American in the face. That's a fact. Now Alex is doing it to paparazzi. And he doesn't care who he hits. I once saw him take a selfie and punch his own face. You've starred in Huge blockbuster movies, Alec. And now you're hosting a f***ing game show? Yeah. I'd say you're about a year and a half away from doing commercials for reverse mortgages. <laughs> Alec, I want to thank you for inviting me to do this. Now Rocky and Bullwinkle won't be the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. <laughs> Sean, you have the face of a ventriloquist doll and the asshole of a much larger ventriloquist doll. <laughs> Blake Griffin, my gift to you is bringing awareness to whatever tragic skin disease it is you have. <laughs> You're a remarkable man, Blake. I wish we were as close as your eyes are. <laughs> what devastating comment could I make about Nikki Glaser that she hasn't already muttered to herself in a mirror at Equinox? Caroline Ray, Caroline, I just love you. You are so open and honest. Backstage, she told all of us she hasn't been laid in so long. She went through Caitlyn Jenner's trash looking for Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner is an American gold medalist who changed genders and somehow still managed to be the least interesting member of her family. <laughs> her strength and beauty are as hypnotic as a Salvador Dali painting of Kellyanne Conway. <laughs> you look like a real doll that's been a little too close to the fireplace. <laughs> <laughs>